Hiya. Um, someone on YouTube asked for a video on aspect ratio. Um, I'm not really sure what there is to say, but I've had a think. Don't really come up very much anymore because you just generate your sequence from the dimensions of your footage. You don't set up your sequence first and then bring your footage in. So it's just, you know, whatever it comes as. But pretty much all TV now is 16.9 anyway. So 16.9 is for every 16 blocks across, there are nine down. That's the aspect ratio of telly. Old telly was 4.3. So for every four blocks across, there were three down. Uh, films, 1.85 to one so for 1.85 for one down or more commonly 2.39 to one or sometimes that's written 21.9 which is just a kind of rough equivalence to the 16.9 so you can see that it's just wider why does this come up the only time it really comes up is if you're trying to integrate footage from lots of different sources so either if you're making a multi or if you're in a fandom where the source spans lots of different eras like Star Trek or they've made TV and movies and then it, you, you know you just have to choose one you have to choose an aspect ratio and conform everything else to fit if I just bring up here's Serenity the movie and Firefly if you want to find out and you can't look in the if you don't know from the dimensions and you want to just look up the aspect ratio it's on IMDB just Google the name of the movie or whatever and aspect ratio and the IMDB technical specifications page will come up and it'll tell you there. Right, 2.39. Right, so here we've got Serenity, the movie, and Firefly, the TV show, which is in 16.9. So you can either crop... Let me just turn off these so you can see. You can either crop the TV show to the movie or you can scale up the movie and lose the side so you're either going to lose the top of the TV show or the sides of the movie and those are your only two options you can do like a pan and scan you know if you've got something that you specifically want to get in shot then you can you know just pan it around and the same on the other way um, you don't need to worry too much about losing stuff because certainly in TV anyway most TV is very is centrally framed all the business action of the show is happening in this central frame here in the action action safe area and um, there's usually not that much going on on the sides and that's because you know for a long time people had lots of different size tellies so they had to make sure that you know, you weren't losing too much. It's, people, it's drifting a bit now, but it used to be very tight. In fact, in the 1990s, the BBC like upgraded to HD to 16.9, uh, long before most people had widescreen tellies. So they actually framed a lot of their shows 14.9, which is it's really funny now you can see. Once you see it, you'll never unsee it. But everyone's clustered just here in the middle of the frame. <laughs> And there's a big space on each side, um, you know, with like a plant or whatever, the edge of a wall or something. And that's because, you know, they, they wanted everyone to be able to see it. I will say, if there's a show that was filmed for 4.3 and framed for 4.3 and then it's re-released as 16.9, use the 4.3, not the 16.9, because if you, I don't know if you've seen like Buffy, Buffy was filmed 4.3 uh, for the first, I don't know, five seasons or something framed 4.3 but filmed 69 and they used those bigger prints but you can see like um crew members you can see lights there's like booms and stuff <laughs> it's terrible it looks like um acorn antiques it's so funny um if you want to have framing made explicit to you you should watch acorn antiques which is a comedy from the 1980s um as part of Victoria was on CRTV. It's got so many clever um, camera work jokes in it, and it, about f especially about framing, but not just about framing, about props, about the, it, like oh, it's just it's not just funny. It's it's really um, insightful in a way. It's well worth watching. Anyway, I'll put a link. It's on Netflix. 
what is there to say? All there is to say is, pick an aspect ratio. In general, I would say pick the most common one of your source and then conform everything else to fit. And the only way you can do this is you can either crop the telly sizes, the square sizes, or you can scale the movie sizes. That's Those are your only options. What you mustn't ever do, which I get that it's very tempting, what you must never do is try and scale things out of proportion. So you've got two things here and you want them to match. You must never just pull them out like that because you can see, look what happens to these squares. Well, that's going to happen to your faces. It's going to happen to your people and they're going to look fucked up um, and people hate it. <laughs> so don't do that. Scale proportionally or not at all. I can't think of anything else to say. Oh, YouTube is 16.9 and YouTube's going to conform anything that you give it to 16.9. It's going to do it automatically. So if your f footage is 4.3, don't try and make it 16.9 yourself. Just upload it as 4.3 and YouTube will pillbox it for you. Yeah, don't do it yourself because you might end up with double. Um, you might end up with window boxing and you don't want window boxing. Uh, that's it. Bye.